welcome to today's edition of Hanky Panky. Today we're going to show you something a little bit different. Um, because it's the Easter season, I'm going to show you how to dye Easter eggs using vintage scarves. Now sometimes when you're buying hankies, you're going to find some vintage silk scarves in with the finds. Um, I find these quite often, uh, or sometimes people get me scarves, they think they're actually hankies, but um, you can find a lot of really beautiful vintage scarves. Just a couple examples of the kind of things that you can find. And most of the time you can buy these at a yard sale or um, a, a church bazaar. You get them for a quarter a piece. When I find something that's very pretty, I tend to put it aside um, because I know that I'm going to be using um, them to dye eggs. I've tried the technique using silk ties before and uh, they're not very practical. They're very hard to work with. I find using the scarves are a lot easier. Now the first step we're going to do is that you know, I have a couple of pre-made ones done but I saved a couple to show you how this is done. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to take um, one of these scarves and we're going to cut at least a six by six square There's one. I think we're going to use this pretty red one. I think that one will die quite nicely. All right. And we're going to take our raw egg. Now, uh, most of the instructions that I've read about these tell you to use string. I find using a rubber band works better for me. A little bit more control. What you're going to do is you're going to wrap the scarf around the egg so that you, you can see the, pr you know, the prettiest of the design. And then you're going to take your rubber band and just wrap it around the egg a few times. Now you can do all of these all at once, so if you're doing a dozen eggs make sure that you have at least a dozen pieces cut. There's another pretty one. Some floral and some fleur de -lis. Very, very pretty. Now, the next step for this is that you have to get yourself an old t-shirt. You can go on upstairs, I'm sure, that either your children or a husband or someone else who lives with you might be able to uh, help you out with that. You're going to get an old t-shirt. You're going to cut a square um, around the same size as the ones that we did for the hanky, for the scarf. And you're going to repeat the process, but with the piece of t-shirt. I've already done a couple of more eggs. Now what I like to do after I'm finished wrapping them with the t-shirt is I don't like it being as large in the pan. So I do take a scissors and cut the top off like that. Just so it's a little bit easier to work with. And cut that off. All right. And just discard the remnants that you're finished with. Then you're going to get yourself uh, a pan of water that we're going to use to boil um, the eggs in. Now what you want to do is you want to get yourself some all-purpose 
um, white distilled vinegar. And you need a quarter cup. Yeah. Pour that into your saucepan. And you're going to take your eggs, all right, and you're going to arrange them in the pan. All right. Just like that, you're going to make sure that it's covered. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put this on your stovetop. You're going to turn it to um, on to high and you're going to boil them for 20 minutes. Once they start a rolling boil, you can turn off your uh, turn your pan down a little bit lower and just put it to a medium boil. Set your timer for 20 minutes and then uh, we'll be back in about 20 minutes, a half hour, and we'll show you what the next step is. Alright, we've allowed our eggs to boil for approximately uh, 20 minutes and I've taken them out. I put them in a colander to cool uh, Just cool enough that we can handle them now what we want to do is I get a scissors And just snip the rubber band they should all come off easily All right, we're going to discard we don't need these old cloths and we're going to do the same thing with the piece of silk underneath. Sniff the rubber band. Just work it off. And then we're going to remove the piece of silk. And if you can see that, it has taken the image and transferred it to the egg. Look how pretty that is. Let's try a couple more so we can see some of the variations. How pretty that is. I found that working with the um, silk scarfs are a lot easier than using silk ties. The first time I did this, I did it with silk ties which they did come out very pretty but they're not as easy to work with Let's see if we can find one of the blue ones there it is How pretty that is. It's got a pretty colors of blue and pink. This also works well if you're using, um, you know, just plain colored. Um, somebody had recently given me some really pretty bright pink and green. Look how pretty that is. So 
see the floral designs on there? Absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you for watching today. Um, I hope you learned something a little bit new about being able to dye eggs. Um, my kids often ask me why I still dye eggs when I don't have any children around, but um, it's just part of Easter for me. I do enjoy doing this. Look how beautiful they are. Look at the bright orange in there. Very, very pretty. Well, thank you for joining us today. Um, if you have uh, any questions about what we've done today, I will leave instructions for this in the comments below. And if you decide that you are looking for any kind of hanky or vintage linen, please just message me and I'll see what I can do for you. And you can also visit my eBay page. Um, you'll see that in the comments below too. Thank you very much. And as I've said before, if there's something you'd like to see, please leave me a comment and we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much.